Hey, mate. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, great to see the voice still improving. Still a little bit weak, and I still have to look after it. Uh, but it's fantastic to be able to talk. So hot here. Let's let's have a look. Um, long term hold. Now, when I see a pattern like this, um, some, sometimes it can just break up like this and, and, and maybe make a move. But price can get compressed in here. It doesn't doesn't always have to. But if price if price does uh, continue to get pressed here, compressed, then you can get a, a very good move. Another thing to do would be uh, well keep an eye on on this sort of trend line. Let me just move some of that out of the way. Uh, I'll just delete all that. Um, this sort of trend line, it'll not be truly bullish anyway until it breaks this trend line. So if it's if it's going to compress kind of in, into this sort of area, <clears throat> it, it uh, it'll it'll eventually make a move. Um, this area down in here, it really does look like a, a decent kind of place to be buying, to be honest. Um, what also likes to happen. I'll just put this here as well. Price actually sometimes likes to consolidate out of this area. Maybe I'll move that up a little bit. But so what I'm saying is it'll break the trend line, but it, it, it continues to consolidate and build a base down here sometimes uh, before making that move. So that's just something to keep an eye out for um, if, if it does start to do that. One thing that uh, I do note here that on the weekly, uh, chart we, we've actually broke down it, it is a breakdown at this point you know from this large volume ideally in a bullish market you don't want to see this break below the large breakup candle this is kind of a failed move so uh, sometimes it can struggle to get back above this and this is why i'm saying maybe it's going to consolidate for a bit you can see that on the two week as well so it's it's kind of struggling um Maybe not too bad, you know. I think it just needs time, and it could actually be forming some sort of larger pennant or something like that, in, in sort of in there. Um, meaning that, again, you know, it might want to do this before making a move, and you can kind of see that sort of pennant forming. I didn't really draw that right, but you kind of get what I'm saying. It's forming a pattern and building structure on the on the monthly. When you when you get a large wick on top and a large wick on the bottom, it has now formed a range, right? And what you do with a range is uh, you look to buy on the low end of the range. So, for example, sometimes you get stop hunts on the lows. If you do get a stop onto these lows, then I think that's the safest place to be buying. For example, if you come right down in below this previous low, that's the point I think to load up. And at some point in future, you know, that there's a good probability and a good possibility probability that we will come back up to take liquidity in this monthly candle right up here. So it's good to buy at the lows of the range and sell at the tops of the range or even sell at the middle of the range is, is uh, if you're looking for quicker returns. But if you've got the patience, you know, at some point in the future, price should make its way back up to this uh, to into this wick. So that, that's a, that's a large gain. So if you if you get that down here below this previous wick, I think that's a good place to to really be loading up on this. If you're happy to start building a position, um, if you're long term, you know maybe maybe you want to start small into this wick somewhere, and then and build that as it as it goes down, and then you'll you'll eventually have a decent average down on here. For when it finally makes that move back up. One last thing here, and, and that's the three month candle. So it's tough to say where this is going to close for the three months. You know, maybe, just maybe this is going to push up and close like Ethereum, where we only have a small body here and a large wick on the bottom and a large wick on top. Um, so that, that would mean if we were going to do that, you know, there can be up to a 50% bounce, 50, 60% bounce, if that was going to happen. Um, but at this point, you know, on a three, new three-month candle, you know, there's, there, there is a chance that these this sort of range low down in here is, is a decent point to be buying this. At some point, price will come back up for this liquidity. 
And as I mentioned, I really do think at this point, this market needs a new three month candle. This three month candle is red and technically a bearish candle. So we, we need to uh, get into a new three month, let, get it, get out of this chop and get into a new three month where candles can, when we can start breaking back up like this.